Well, this is a really big day in the 207 kitchen at O Main Studios for a number of reasons. First of all, Lynn Archer is back, and this is your 100th time in the 207 kitchen. Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. And we have a very special segment today because we had a viewer by the name of Becky Welch who wrote to us and said, I think five years ago, Lynn Archer did this cocoa cake recipe. Becky loves this recipe, and she misplaced the recipe and said, do you think Lynn would send me the recipe? And Lynn said, not only will I send it, I'm going to come in and do it. Right. Yeah. Because I'm almost done with my cookbook, and it should publish in the spring and be ready for 2020. And it is in the book, but okay. we didn't want to make you wait, Becky. And this is your grandmother's great grandmother. My great grandmother's recipe. My All right. great grandmother's fork. Here we. Oh my and gosh. A hundred segments later. Yes. Life is so special and funny. You never know. Right? Very good. Very, Very good. Very good. Okay. So, an eight by eight. I when I make it at home, I often double it for a nine by thirteen. Okay. But it's a cup and a half of flour. And we're doing it all right in the pan. Right in the pan. No, you don't add any grease to your pan. Okay. Cup and a half of flour. One cup of sugar. Six heaping tablespoons of cocoa. Okay. So when I say heaping... Oh, you're not messing around. Nope. So it's really like 12 tablespoons. Well, maybe. <laughs> you know... Whatever. Great. It's, my, it's chocolate. My great-grandmother... Um, when I try to recreate her recipes, sometimes you just have to be a little intuitive as to how it's oh, going to work. Okay, that's a good word for it. And um, and you only made this probably a thousand times, so you probably right. have good intuition about well, this. Well, yeah, I've made it a bit of time. Yeah, she used to make sausage, and she'd say, "Cover the top of the sausage with pepper." Okay, well, how big's <laughs> the pan, and how much meat are you using? That was a teaspoon of baking soda. Okay. And a teaspoon of salt. Oh my gosh. Right in there. Now, do you want me to start mixing that up a little bit or? Well, no, because this is all you do. So right. you just take the fork and you just incorporate it all together. Okay. Making sure, and when you're done, it'll all be light brown and you got to get all the corners and that's why i always use a glass dish okay too because you don't want to end up with a hunk of flour in some corner so you really want to make sure it's edge. pretty well mixed right so then you just make a well in the center all right just like that and you add you gotta add something liquid right yes <laughs> and i do need a cup of water Okay. I'll go, can I run and get that? Please. All right. I'm going to go do that. As I'm doing this. So this is six tablespoons of oil. This is an eggless and milkless cake. Oh, interesting. And then one good tablespoon of real vanilla. I use real vanilla. Yep. I've tried it, it with imitation. Difference. It just didn't have the correct. It just wasn't correct. All right. On top of your... Vanilla, yeah. add a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Okay. Then one cup of cold water. And that's that. That's it. And Becky, then you is, just... Becky is at home writing this down furiously. Good. Yeah. But of course, we're always going to have our recipe on the website on the 207 section of the New Center Main website and our mobile apps as well. So all of the ingredients will be included in there. Now, when this is all mixed together, how long are you going to bake it for? So you bake it at 350 for about 35 minutes. Depending, if you do the 9 by 13, it's 40 minutes. And that's what okay. I usually make. But it, with an 8 by 8, I'd say 30 to 35. Check it at 30 minutes. All right. So well, that's all you do. All right. And we're almost out of time, so I want to take a look at the... Oh, so my gosh. She always used a doily put it on top and put confectioner's sugar. She wasn't a great frosting person. Um, at Archer's on the Pier, I make about seven cakes a week of chocolate cake with peanut butter frosting. Oh my goodness. Peanut butter frosting, simple. Stick of butter, uh, beat, 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 <laughs> cup of peanut butter, beat, 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 and two cups of confectioner's sugar. That's and it. You're done. And you end up with this beautiful oh cake. Oh my gosh. And like I said, the cake, 
is very, oh, the cake very is chocolatey, chocolatey. Okay. and very dark. And that's what I was seeing and was the peanut butter icing. And you can see the, how dark that chocolate peanut butter is. Icing. Okay. Oh, yeah. my goodness. Nice oh, I and can't moist. wait to sample. Thank you so much. Happy 100th. Happy 100th. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy to do this. It means the world to well, me. Well, we love having you here. I love being here. We will be right back. <laughs>